So now let's see how we can utilize Blur and Sharpen tool inside of GIMP. So over here you can see that I have this particular image right here. And in order to use the Blur and Sharpen tool, I need to go around onto the uh, Smudge tool area, click and hold, and you can see that Blur and Sharpen is an option over here. So now what you can do is you can choose a brush size right here and then change around the size of the brush right here and change around the aspect ratio of the brush as well. So let me just go around and keep it uh, one, of, um, one over here just like this itself so that I get um, a, a circle right here. So let's just go around onto uh, one right here or maybe let's just go around and keep zero over here so I got a perfect circle. I can go around and then turn the dynamics off and then now what happens is that this is in sharpen mode. Let me just go around onto blur mode right here, increase out the size a bit. So now let's say I want to blur out the part of these rocks right here. So I can simply click and drag around and you can see that that portion right here blurs out just like this as I click and drag. You can go around and blur the parts of the rock. You can go around and blur out these parts over here just like this as well and click and drag and you can see that it simply goes around and blurs out. You can also go around and sharpen it right here and once you go around and sharpen it, now if I were to zoom in and click and drag it, you can see that it sharpens out these areas right here just like this. As I click and drag around, you can see that those pixels are much more sharper right here and you get the details more out of it. But don't overdo it as you can see that you, you can start getting artifacts right here and they may seem unnatural. So you can simply go around, blur it out over here just like this as well. You can change around the rate of the blur just like this as well, make it really, really subtle as you can see. Uh, and same goes for the sharpen as well. So you can go for shuttle sharpen right here, really increase out the rate right here and really make it sharp as you can see just like this as well. And this is how you can go and you can work around with um, the blur and sharpen. You can also change around the focus length right here and then really sharpen it out or you want to keep it really, really low over here, just like this as well. Similarly, if I were to go around onto blur, then you can see that you can change around the fade length over here and really get them get, um, like faded high or low according to how you want right here. And that is how you can work around with the blur and sharpen tool inside of GIMP to blur and sharpen areas of the image now that you have open inside of GIMP. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.